Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. At present Chetak and Cheetah helicopters are the lifeline for troops in high altitude areas of Ladakh, Siachen Glacier and North Eastern region. They were designed in 1960s and licensed produced by HL. It has manufactured nearly 625 Chetak and Cheetah helicopters but no longer built them but is responsible for their maintenance and repair. These helicopters are well over their service life. In last 10 years, around 15 Cheetah and Cheetah helicopters have crashed, killing several pilots. Two army pilots were killed recently in a crash of Cheetah in Jammu and Kashmir. In fact, our present CDS, General Bipin Rawat, has also narrowly survived a Cheetah crash in Dimapur back in 2015. Now let's try to understand the Indian Armed Forces requirement of these heroes. The Army, Air Force and Navy has a combined requirement of around 500 light helicopters. HAL is expecting a combined order from Army and Air Force for 187 light helicopters which include 126 for Indian Army and 61 for Air Force. Now many of you have questions about HAL's delivery capability. Let's shed some light on that as well. HAL has set up a new helicopter factory in Tumkur in Karnataka. If we combine Bengaluru and Tumkur facilities production rate, HAL can roll out 100 helicopters per year, which means the requirement of 500 helicopters of our armed forces can be completed in a matter of 5 years. In one of our recent videos, we have reported that LUH is undergoing third trial. This trial of LUH is to test the modified tail rotor as requested by Indian Army as it seemed to be one of the requirements of Army for the FOC of LUH. Now it has been reported that all trials on the four LUH prototypes are over. The last set of trials to establish LUH's extra maneuverability concluded in Ladakh this week. LUH is flying with extended tail rotor at lay and might get FOC soon. LUH has not only completed its current trials but performed better than the expectation of our army. As per retired Air Marshal Anil Chopra, Director General Center of Air Power Studies, LUH has proved its capabilities in multiple rounds of trials in extreme conditions in the northern sector. It's quite an achievement in indigenous helicopter manufacturing. The Army Aviation General Director Lieutenant General A.K. Suri on Thursday visited aviation squadrons in forward areas including Leh and flew a test sorties in LUH whose trials have been successfully completed. Now HL expects Army and Air Force to place combined orders for at least 187 light helicopters. HL has set August 2022 as deadline for carrying out maiden test flight of the first limited seas production of LUH. However, from what it seems, HL might not get a big order, but it will be done in a staggered manner. HL will initially get the order of 12 LUH, 6 each for the Army and Air Force. Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary has already said that the Air Force would soon place an order of 6 LUH, but yet there is no official confirmation from army this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector